All right, so what we're going to do right now is, is uh, deal with the problem a lot of people have in that they can play at a certain speed and they go to play with someone else and the other person is playing faster than they can play and they just assume that they have an issue, that they're, there's something wrong with what they're doing. So we're going to play Little Maggie at, at a, a few different speeds and uh, just illustrate that you can play songs and they sound great at different speeds. So, uh, Little Maggie. So, uh, we're going to start with... Uh, So if you're playing it at 40, it's... you could actually put a lot of feeling into that. Now, but still going to a relatively uh, slow speed, which this is 50 beats a minute. And I'm just gonna do that. All right, so this sounds. can play with practice could play that at 50 so we move up to around 60 and, here, and here's what it sounds like <laughs> Thank you. 
somebody, they can either play at your level, at what you can play, which is fun, or you can try to play faster by practicing, using a metronome, and getting better. And there's no reason to, find, to ask people to play at, at your speed because it makes you feel good. You'll get the drive, it'll work great, it'll sound great, and then as you're playing comfortably at your own speed, you're repeating the basic movements and you're practicing and you're actually setting yourself up to be able to play faster. Whereas if you try to play too fast, then many times there might be shortcuts and it could develop bad habits. Um, so I was just going to suggest uh, be a little more proactive and uh, ask people to play at the speed that you can play with. And that's it.